Hey guys and welcome back to the Crochet Toy YouTube channel. In today's video I'm bringing you another tutorial and this time it's for a Pokemon character. So this tutorial is going to be for Score Bunny. So here he is. He's quite big actually. This is probably one of the biggest things I've uh, ever designed a pattern for. But anyway, yeah, if you're interested in finding out how to make this then keep watching this video. Um, and I would say that I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one for beginners, I think this is more for intermediate to advanced crocheters. The actual individual pieces are not particularly complicated for this, but the sewing and all of the just assembling everything together can be a little bit tricky, so I mean have a go at it if you want to, but um, I would potentially recommend this is better for people with a bit more uh, crochet experience and experience making amigurumi pieces. So yeah, um, as always the written pattern is available on my blog, this is actually quite an old pattern from last February but I just never made a video for it back then, so uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's get straight into it. For this pattern you'll be needing Aran weight yarn or any other weight that you'd like to use in the following colours. White, muted yellow, muted orange and a true orange. Then you'll be needing some felt in the following colours. White, black, orange and light pink. You don't need as much felt as I have here but um, I'm just showing you exactly what I have. Um, then you'll be needing some stuffing and for the stuffing you'll be needing more than what I'm showing you here but this is just to uh, demonstrate. Then you'll be needing some scissors. You'll be needing uh, some scrap black yarn or you could use embroidery thread or you could even use felt. Um, this is for adding the face details. Then you'll be needing a yarn needle and your crochet hook. I've got a four millimeter crochet hook but you can either size up or size down depending on the weight of the yarn you're using. Then I've got my Fabri-Tac fabric glue. This is for gluing down the felt pieces. And finally, you might want some pins to pin everything together um, for sewing, but this is kind of optional. So, yep, that's everything you'll be needing. So we're going to start by crocheting the head first uh, using the white yarn. So we're going to start by crocheting the head first. So we're going to grab our white yarn and we're going to firstly do six single crochets in a magic circle. So that is round one complete. Now for round two, we're just going to increase in every single crochet all the way around. So that is round two complete and now we have 12 single crochets all the way around. I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds because they're just standard uh, increases in increments of six. So for round three you're going to want to single crochet, increase and repeat five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Round four, two single crochet, increase, repeat five more times to get you to 24. Round five, three single crochet, increase, repeat five more times to get you to 30. Round six, four single crochet, increase, repeat five more times to get you to 36. Round seven, five single crochet, increase, repeat five more times to get you to 42. Round eight, six single crochet, increase, repeat five more times to get you to 48. Round nine, seven single crochet, increase, repeat five more times to get you to 54. And then for round 10, eight single crochet, increase, repeat five more times to get you to 60. So I'll meet you at the end of round 10. So I've just reached the end of round 10 and I've got my 60 single crochets all the way around. Uh, I've just got my stitch marker here. Um, so now for rounds 11 to 20, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So that's 10 rounds of single crocheting all the way around. So I'll meet you uh, when you have completed that. 
just got to the end of round 20 and this is what it's looking like so for round 21 we're going to start doing some decreases so to start off with we're just going to do eight single crochets And then we're going to do a decrease. And then we're just going to repeat that five more times and that will get us down to 54 single crochets at the end of round 21. Um, and then I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds because they're just, again, uh, more decreases in increments of six. So for round 22, we're going to do seven single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get us down to 48. Round 23, six single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get us to 42. 24, five single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get us to 36. Round 25, four single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get us to 30. Round 26, three single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get us to 24. And then round 27, two single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get us to 18. So um, I'll meet you when you get to the end of round 27, as this is when I'm going to stuff the head. I finished round 18 and I've added my stuffing so make sure that you add yours at this point you want to make sure that the head is stuffed fairly firmly and because the yarn is white that means that you won't really be able to see the stuffing come through even if you slightly overstuff so I'd recommend adding a bit more than you potentially think you need um, so now we're just going to do round 28 um, so for round 28 you're just going to single crochet then decrease all the way around Okay, so now we've got our 12 single crochets at the end of round 28 and then for round 29 you're just going to decrease all the way around, so 6 decreases. Okay, so that is the end of round 29. Now I'm going to cut my yarn. Leave just a short tail because we're not going to be using this for any sewing. Um, and then you're just going to thread through your yarn needle and then um, thread this tail through each of the six single crochets like so then you want to just pull very tightly doesn't matter too much because this um this hole is effectively going to be hidden because we're going to sew the body to this bit anyway but um yeah just pull as tightly as you can and then just feed your yarn tail through like so and there we have it so this is the head um 
So now we are going to move on to making the body. So again, grab your white yarn um, and we will start that next. So the body is very straightforward with no complex stitches. So I'm just going to talk you through all of the rounds for this and then I will meet you when you've completed them and I'll um, show you how we're going to sew the body to the head. So for round one, just going to do six single crochets in a magic circle. Round two, increase all the way around to get us to 12 single crochets. Round three, single crochet increase, repeat five times to get you to 18. Round four, two single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 24. Round five, three single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 30. Round six to seven, just single crochet all the way around in each of those 30 single crochets. Round eight, four single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get us to 36. Rounds 9 to 11, single crochet all the way around in each of those 36 single crochets. Round 12, 4 single crochet decrease, repeat 5 more times to get you to 30 single crochets. Round 13, single crochet all the way around in each of the 30 single crochets. Round 14, 3 single crochet decrease, repeat 5 more times to get you to 24 single crochets. Round 15 to 16, single crochet all the way around in each of those 24 single crochets. Round 17, two single crochet decrease, repeat five more times to get you to 18 single crochets. And then finally round 18, just single crochet all the way around in each of those 18 single crochets. So yeah, once we finish round 18, we're just going to stuff the body and then I'm going to show you how to sew that to the head. So I'll meet you at that point. So I finished round 18 and I've stuffed the body uh, quite firmly. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the yarn, leaving a quite long tail for sewing. And then I'm just going to pull that through. And now I'm just going to sew the body to the bottom of the head. So you can use pins if you want um, when you're sewing this together, but I'm just going to do it freehand. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head and I'm going to try and sew the body kind of in directly into the center of the bottom of the head so lining it up like that so you should be lining up uh the final round of the body with the last i think it would be the second to last round of the head or thereabouts so um yeah or potentially the third to last round um but anyway as i mentioned i'm just going to go around using a whip stitch and i'm going to do this freehand so i'm just going to make a start here just to show you what i'm doing so go into a stitch like this and I'm going to go into the body and into the head and then once again into the body and into the head I'm just going to keep going around like that until the body is fully sewn down to the head um, so I'll show you when I've got to that point I sewed round once and I'm pretty happy with how that looks so all I've done is just fed the yarn tail through to a random stitch in the back of the head and I'm just going to um, cut that because we we're not going to be needing that anymore. If you're finding that the head and um, body are not stable together so if you kind of shake it and they're moving a lot then you might want to sew around once more but um, for me once was enough so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, so the next thing we're going to move on to is the ears so you'll be needing both your orange yarns and the white yarn for that. So to start off with you're going to want to grab your true orange yarn so the brighter orange and you're going to want to do four single crochets in a magic circle. And then for the remaining uh, rounds that we're using our true orange colour for, I'm just going to talk you through them as they're pretty uh, straightforward. So for round two, you're going to do single crochet increase, single crochet increase, and that'll get you to six single crochets at the end of the round. Round three, two single crochet increase, two single crochet increase, that'll get you to eight single crochets. Then round four, single crochet increase, and repeat that three more times to get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. Round five, five single crochet increase, five single crochet increase to get you to 14. 
Round six, six single crochet increase, six single crochet increase to get you to 16. Round seven, three single crochet increase, repeat that three more times to get you to 20 single crochets at the end of the round. And then for rounds eight to 13, you're just gonna want to single crochet all the way around in each of those 20 single crochets. Um, I'll meet you at the end of round 13 as this is when we're gonna change to our other orange color. So I'm on my last single crochet of round 13 now and I'm just going to change to the more muted orange colour. So I'm just going to do a standard colour change for this. You could use the fake single crochet method that I've shown in other videos but um, I think because you can kind of fold the ear in such a way that it, um, you, you don't basically see the colour change then I'm kind of happy to just use the normal method here. So I've just changed colour so now all we're going to do is for rounds 14 to 15 so two more rounds which is going to single crochet all the way around but in the different orange color um, and then at the end of round 15 we're going to change to white so I will show you when I do that. So I'm on the last single crochet of round 15 and as I previously mentioned we're going to change to white here um, and I'm just going to use again the standard colour change method. Okay so now I've changed to my white colour. So for round 16 to 23, we're going to just single crochet all the way around in each of the 12 single crochet uh, in each of the 20 single crochets, sorry, uh, in this white colour. Then for round 24, we're going to do a four single crochet decrease and repeat three more times to get us to 16 single crochets. Round 25, two single crochet decrease, repeat three more times to get us to 12 single crochets. And then finally round 26, single crochet decrease and repeat that three more times to get us to eight single crochets at the end of the round. So I will show you when I've reached the end of round 26. So I've just reached the end of round 26 and this is what it's looking like. So now that we've finished the first ear, I'm just gonna cut my yarn leaving a long enough tail for sewing. And this ear is complete and ready to be sewn to the head. But before we do that, I'm going to make the second ear. So the steps for the second ear are exactly the same as what we've just done for the first ear up until you get to round number... 18 so when you finish round 18 come back to this video and i'll show you what you need to do for rounds 19 onwards because it's a little bit different as for the second year we need to create that little um extra kind of tuft of hair that comes out at the bottom so uh yeah just uh do all of the same uh steps that we did for rounds 1 to 18 for this ear and then i will meet you uh when we're going to start round 19. I've just got to the end of round 18, um, so for round 19 we're going to single crochet all the way around like we did before in uh, rounds 18, 17 and 16, so I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so I've single crocheted all the way around. Um, now the difference with round 19 is that instead of this being the end of the round, we're now going to actually chain eight. So I've got my chain eight now. And that is actually the end of round 19. So for round 20, we're going to just continue single crocheting around as normal. And we're going to include uh, doing eight single crochets into the chain as well. So that's going to increase the amount of single crochets from 20 to 28 in round 20. So I'll just show you that now. And I'm just going to mark this first stitch as well. 
because uh, when you have chains involved, sometimes it becomes a bit harder to see um, where the first single crochet of the round was. So I'm just going to put that in here and I'm going to continue single crocheting all the way around. Okay, so that is the 20 single crochets and now we're going to work the eight single crochets into the chain. I'm just going to count um, from the last chain just so that I'm very clear on where I need to be single crocheting into. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the eighth one is very small and hard to see, um, but it's actually this chain here. You might need to just be patient trying to get into that as it could be quite tight. There we go. So there's one, two, three, and it doesn't really matter which loops you crochet into uh, when you're working into the chain, so I wouldn't get too worried about that. I'm just uh, crocheting into the kind of uh, top loop that's visible here. Seven and that should be eight. So now you can see we've got this hole here, um, but we've continued crocheting around. So you're kind of creating like almost an eight shape here. Um, so I'm just going to count as well the number of single crochets at the end of round 20 just to prove to you that it is 28. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and then the 28th one is this marked stitch here. As you can see, that uh, that's why I marked it, because it can get a bit hidden with the um, chain that we've done here. So yes, that is the end of round 20. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds, because you're just going to keep working around this eight shape um so hopefully it's not too complicated but um for round 21 you're going to do 20 single crochets then you're going to do a decrease one single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease and that'll get you to 25 single crochets at the end of the round round 22 decrease 16 single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease two single crochet and that'll get you to 22 single crochets at the end of the round Round 23, 18 single crochets and then two decreases, and that'll get you to 20 single crochets at the end of the round. Then round 24, three single crochet decrease, repeat three more times to get you to 16 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 25, two single crochet decrease, repeat three more times to get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. And then finally, uh, round 26, single crochet decrease, repeat three more times to get you to eight single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll meet you when we get to that point and then uh, we will need to cut our yarn, leaving a tail for sewing to the head. So I've got to the end of round 26 and I'm going to cut the yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to reattach our white yarn into this uh, eight chain hole that we have here effectively. So I'm just going to start that now.
Okay, so for our first round in this hole, we're going to do single crochet, two increase, single crochet, two decrease, and that will uh, leave us with eight single crochets at the end of the first round. So, single crochet. I'm going to mark this stitch as well. To increase then a single crochet and two decrease. So we should have eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now for the second round, we're going to decrease four single crochet, decrease. This again is a little bit tight, so take your time. So decrease. Four single crochets. And decrease. Gonna remove that because I just accidentally got that caught up in my decrease there. Okay, so now we should have six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So now for the final round, we're just gonna decrease all the way around. So we should have three single crochets at the end of the round. And yeah, this is gonna be a very tight round. So uh, once more, just take your time with this. So one. And if you're struggling to get into both loops, you can just work in the front loops. It won't make a massive difference. Two. And the last one. I am just going to work in the front loops because I'm not going to be able to get into both loops here. Three. Okay, so now we've finished with that, so we just need to cut our yarn. Now, before you cut, what I would say is, if you've got a little bit of a gap here that you want to sew closed, um, then you might want to leave a bit more of a yarn tail, just to give yourself the option to do that, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about it, because as you can see, you can't really see it from this um, from the front view you can see it a little bit from the back but then does that really matter uh it's up to you how sort of meticulous you want to be with it also we're not going to stuff the ears at all so you won't be able to see like a big gap with um stuffing coming out of it but yeah if you want to make it a bit neater you might want to use this yarn tail to sew up a little bit here and then you just need to um cut this and um obviously before you do that as well you're just going to want to take your needle and close up this free single crochet hole at the top here so regardless of what you're going to do next you're just going to want to go into each of these free single crochets and just close up the hole Two, 
okay so that is effectively the ears so we've got both of these ears now so this one with the little extra tuft and then this normal ear um so now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to making those yellow bits that we need to sew on the middle of the ears so grab your yellow yarn um, and we'll get started on that so this is one of the yellow ear pieces just to show you what it's going to look like so grab your yellow yarn and we're firstly going to chain 15 Once you've done that, we're now just going to uh, work our way back across the chain, single crocheting in each of the chains, so that'll be 14. Um, and I'm going to be working into these back loops here, but you can work into the front loops if you want. Um, but I just prefer how this looks, so this is what I'm going to do. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to continue working around the other side of the chain and we're going to do another 14 single crochets. I'm trying to uh, crochet over this tail to kind of keep it secure. My hook doesn't want to go in this stitch for some reason. Let's try that again. Cool, okay, so that is complete. So now I'm just going to cut my uh, yarn, leaving a fairly long tail for sewing because this is quite a long piece to sew down. And I'm also going to cut that little tail at the back of the ear as well to get rid of that. Okay, so now we've got our two yellow pieces. So I'm just going to grab my pins and I'm going to pin this down um, and I'll show you how I'm going to sew these onto the ears. So I've pinned the yellow pieces to both of the ears now as you can see 
uh, and I'm going to start with the one on the left. So it's up to you how you sew this down. I think I'm going to use a whip stitch. So I'm just going to start off by going into one of these white stitches like this. And I'm going to go back into the yellow and into another white stitch. And then back into the yellow a white stitch. I'm just going to do that all the way around for both this ear and the other ear um, and then I'll show you when I finish that and then we're going to move on to making the uh, bandage for the nose which is also going to be in this yellow colour. As you can see I've now finished sewing the yellow pieces to the middle of both ears so we're going to move on now to making the little bandage that goes on the nose. Um, so we're going to grab our yellow yarn again and we're going to start off by chaining six. Then we're going to turn and we're just going to single crochet uh, in each of the chains starting from the second chain from hook. So five single crochets. One... Two, three, four, five. So that's row one. Uh, then we're going to chain one, turn, and then we're going to single crochet across again. So that's row two. So then for rows three to seven, we're just going to repeat row two. So we're going to chain one, turn, single crochet across. So I'll meet you when you finish row seven. So I finished row seven and all I did was cut my yarn, leaving a tail long enough for sewing. Uh, it really is as simple as that for the little bandage piece on the face. So that's now ready to be sewn down to the face. Um, but the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the little um, white fluffy uh, pieces that are either side of the head so grab your white yarn and we'll get started with that so this is what the cheek piece is going to look like when we finished uh, and we're obviously going to need to make two of these so let's make the second one together so i'm going to start off by chaining 18 Then we're going to slip stitch into the first chain to finish the round and we're going to also chain one. So that is considered to be the end of round one. Now for rounds two and three we're just going to single crochet in each of the chains all the way around so that should be 18 single crochets for each of rounds two and three. So I'll meet you when you have finished that. So I got to the end of round three and now we're going to start in round four to split this circle into two smaller circles. Um, so we're going to start off by doing five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to chain two. Then we're going to skip eight single crochets so one two three four five six seven eight and we're going to single crochet five uh, into the five remaining single crochets of the round so one two three four and five so now you should be able to see that we have 
two separate circles, one consisting of these um, 10 single crochets and then the two chain here. And then we have the eight skipped single crochets and the two chain um, for the second circle here. So now all we're going to do is we're going to just do the final few rounds for this circle here. So we're going to do four single crochet decrease, four single crochet decrease for round five and that'll get us to ten single crochets. Then for round six, single crochet all the way around. Round seven, three single crochet decrease, three single crochet decrease, and that'll get us to eight single crochets at the end of the round. And then round eight, decrease all the way around, and that'll get us to four single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll meet you at the end of round number eight. So I got to the end of round eight, so now I'm gonna finish this bit off. So I'm just gonna cut the yarn, leaving just a short tail here because we don't need to use this for any sewing or anything like that. And then I'm just going to close up the hole in the normal way. And then I'm just going to weave that tail through to the inside of the cheek piece. Don't pull too hard as it might distort this shape up here. And then I'm just going to hide that on the inside and that's that bit complete. So now what we need to do is we need to reattach our white yarn. I'm going to reattach into the first skipped single crochet here. It doesn't really matter which um, which stitch you reattach into. Um, but yep, yeah, I'm just picking this one. So I've got my white yarn here. I'm just going to reattach it. So for, um, for the first round, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So that should be 10 single crochets. I just did my first single crochet already. So I'm just going to do uh, nine more. So two. Three. Now we're going to work into the two chains. Nine. Ten. So that is round one. Then for round two, we're going to do three single crochet decrease, three single crochet decrease. For round three, we're going to do two single crochet decrease, two single crochet decrease. That'll get us down to six single crochets. And then for round four, we're going to decrease all the way around and that'll get us down to three single crochets. So I'm just going to um, work on that and I will meet you when you get to the end of round four. I got to the end of round four and this is what it's looking like. Um, so this time we're going to cut a tail that's uh, slightly longer because we're actually going to use this one for sewing so that's what I've done and then I'm just going to close up the hole again in the standard way And then I'm just going to feed this tail down to the bottom here. And this is what we're going to end up using to sew these uh, cheek pieces onto the face. So I'll just get the other piece for you. 
So here's the two pieces that we have that are going to go on either side of the face. So now we've kind of got all the pieces that we need for the head. Um, the only other thing that we're going to need to do is cut out the felt pieces, so the eyes and the nose, but um, I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, let's grab everything that we've um, made so far and then we're going to sew that to the head and we're going to add the face details. The first thing I've done is I've pinned down the bandage in the middle of the face, kind of slightly um, to the top of the face rather than the bottom. Um, and I'm going to sew this down first because I'm going to kind of use this as a reference point for all of the other face details and sewing down the ears and the cheek pieces. So I'm just going to use a standard whip stitch to do this and I'll show you when I've finished. I sewed down the nose bandage. Um, now I'm going to move on to embroidering the mouth. Um, so I'm going to start by feeding the black yarn in through a stitch to the right or to the left of the nose bandage because we're going to be gluing the eye over this anyway. So it doesn't really uh, matter if you can see a bit of black there. I'm just going to come out roughly in the middle of this bandage. I'm going to leave a bit of a tail here. Uh, then I'm just going to go down a few rows, so maybe four. Um, I'm just going to feed my yarn tail through here and out through a nearby stitch. Like that. And then I'm going to go into this stitch here and again back out potentially through this one you might need to play around with this until you're happy with it um but yeah i'm just gonna try this and then i'm gonna go into this stitch here come out of this one and then i'm finally gonna go into this stitch here and back out So I'm happy with that. So we've got the mouth now. Um, and then what you can do is you can just tie a knot in these um, two tails here. Because as I said, we're going to be gluing an eye down on top of this anyway. So that will keep that hidden. And then you might just want to tidy up any stuffing that's come out when you've been um, sewing the mouth on. So that's what I'm going to do next. Um, and then we're going to uh, use our felt pieces. So we're going to add a pink nose here and the eyes here. So I'll show you that next. So I've gone ahead and cut the eyes and the nose out of felt. So you're just going to want two uh, big black ovals, two smaller white circles and then two smaller orange ovals. And then for the nose, a rounded triangle like this. I just cut mine freehand, but you could use uh, a template or you could kind of draw on the felt in pencil uh, to start with and then cut round that. It's completely up to you how you want to do that. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue these down now. So I'm going to glue the eyes here and just to mention I obviously already glued down the white and the orange parts to the eyes so you're going to want to do that first before you glue it to the face and then I'm just going to glue the nose like that with my fabric glue here so I'm just going to do that now um, and then when I finish that the next thing we're going to do is to sew the ears and the cheek pieces onto the head I've glued down the face uh, details. Now, as I mentioned, the next thing we're going to do is to sew the ears to the top of the head. I did try pinning these down, but the, they're just too heavy, the pieces, and they keep flopping. So I'm just going to do this without pinning. But effectively, where you want to place them is kind of right at the top of the head and right next to each other, pretty much as close to each other as you can get them. Because what we're going to do is, once we've sewn down the bottom of the ears to the head, we're then going to sew some of the stitches um, on either side of the ears 
ear to each other like this so that they kind of stick together and then they split off when it gets to the orange part so I'm just going to use a uh, standard whip stitch when I sew these around um, it's just way too difficult for me to show you this on camera because it's an awkward angle um, but I will show you when I've finished sewing the ears down to the head and then I'll show you what I'm going to do to sew the ears together effectively um, so yeah I'll meet you at that point I finished sewing the ears down so all I did as I mentioned was I did a whip stitch um, to sew the bottom part down to the top of the head and I went round twice because it was a bit too floppy when I just did it once and then what I did was I took one of those yarn tails um, from sewing down at the bottom here and I just sewed um, some of these stitches together to make the ears stick together uh, up till you get to the orange part and then they split off because um, that's kind of what score bunny looks like in photos so so um, yeah, so now that I've finished that, the next thing I'm going to do is to sew on the cheek pieces. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the uh, smaller part of the cheek pieces, so you can see that there's like a taller bit and a smaller bit. You want to make sure that the smaller bit is um, at the top of the cheek piece and then the, the bigger bit is at the bottom. Um, and you want to just put these on either side of the face like this. Um, and again, I'm just going to use a whip stitch. I'm not going to pin them down um, and I will just show you when that's finished and then we'll move on to making the arms. So now all of the head pieces are sewn down, as you can see. So we've got the ears at the top and then the little cheek pieces here. Um, so now we're going to create the arms. So grab your white yarn and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to need to make two arms. I've already made one here so you can see what it's going to look like when we're finished. Um, now what we're going to need to do is grab our white yarn and start off by doing four single crochets in a magic circle. Now the arms are pretty simple to make so I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds. So for round two we're just going to increase all the way around and that will get us to eight single crochets at the end of the round. Round three single crochet increase repeat three times uh, to get us to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. Rounds four to six just single crochet in each of the 12 single crochets all the way around. Round seven, four single crochet decrease and that and repeat that once more to get us to 10 single crochets at the end of the round. Rounds eight to 10 single crochet all the way around in each of the 10 single crochets. Uh, and I'll meet you at the end of round 10 because that's when we're gonna add some stuffing to the arms. So I've got to the end of round 10 and now, as I mentioned, we're gonna add a very small amount of stuffing and this is gonna be the only stuffing that we're gonna add to the arm. Um, so I've got my little bit of stuffing here. So I'm just gonna pop that in. So yeah, like it really is just a very small amount that we want to add here. Um, so now all we need to do is the final few rounds. So for round 11, we're going to do three single crochet decrease, three single crochet decrease. That will get us down to eight single crochets at the end of the round. And then for rounds 12 to 14, you're just going to want to single crochet all the way around in each of those eight single crochets. So I'll meet you at the end of round 14. This is when we're going to slip stitch across to close and then we're going to sew the arms to the body. So I got to the end of round 14, as I mentioned, we're now going to do some slip stitches to close. So we're going to do four slip stitches. So that's it, the arm is finished, so you just want to cut your yarn leaving enough of a tail for sewing. So that is it, so now we've got our two arms as you can see here. So what we're going to want to do now is just sew these to the sides of the score bunny, so I'm just going to zoom out and show you quickly. So here he is. And you just want to 
take your arms and just sew them to either side like this um i'm just again going to use a standard whip stitch and i'm going to sew across the top here and i'm going to sew a couple of stitches probably at either side just to keep the arms uh, a bit more flat you could also sew a few stitches down the bottom here if you don't want the arms to be able to move up like this uh completely up to you so i'm just going to show you once i finish that um and then we'll move on to making the sort of necklace uh orange piece that goes around the neck Okay, so I've sewn down both arms now. Uh, so as I mentioned, we're now going to move on to making the orange kind of necklace collar thing. Um, so if you grab your true orange colour, then let's get started with that. For round one of the necklace, we're simply going to do six single crochets in a magic circle. And then for rounds 2 to 26, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round 26. So I've just reached the end of round 26 and this is what it looks like. Um, and I've also cut my yarn, leaving a very long tail for sewing because we're going to want to sew this all the way around the neck. So you probably want to leave a bit more than you potentially think you need. Um, so one thing that you want to do before you actually completely finish this off of you, is you just want to check that this piece does go around the neck. Ooh, I'll actually take my crochet hook out of this does go around the neck and reaches a point where there's maybe about four single crochets gap between these two end points here so if it's too long or too short then you can remove or add rows as needed um so i'm sorry when i say rows i obviously mean rounds so um yeah just just double check that before you actually uh completely finish this piece off but i'm happy that my piece obviously um goes around the neck as far as it needs to so that's completely fine so all i'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull the yarn tail through like this grab my yarn needle and I'm just gonna weave into each of these six single crochets two sorry I'm just checking one two three four five six to close up this hole here so one Three. I've got a bit of a knot here. Let's just pull that through for now. It's getting all knotted up because I've got such a long tail here. Six. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that tight to close as well as I can. And then I'm just going to weave that yarn tail through to about here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew this piece uh, around the neck as I just showed you. So I'll show you when I've done that. This is what the uh, necklace looks like when it's sewn down. I didn't necessarily sew fully all the way around, so like there's a few parts where it's not sewn down, but I just sewed uh, a few stitches every now and then so that it stays in place like this. Um, so now we're going to move on to making the tail. And again, this is very straightforward, so I'm just going to talk you through the rounds for this because uh, it's quite quick and easy to make this. So you're going to want to use your white yarn for this, and for round one, you're just going to do six single crochets in a magic circle round two you're going to increase all the way around to get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round round three single crochet all the way around and then round four single crochet decrease and repeat that three more times to get you to eight single crochets at the end of the round and then we're gonna sew that to the back of the body 
Okay, so I got to the end of round four and this is what the tail looks like. Uh, now you're just going to want to cut the yarn, leaving enough for sewing. You don't need too much because this is obviously only a small piece, so um, even that was maybe too much. But there we go. So this is what I have. Now, it depends what kind of yarn you're using. You might want to add a little bit of stuffing at this point, but because I'm using quite a stiff, thick yarn, uh, I don't really need to because this is going to hold its shape uh, regardless of whether I stuff it or not. So all we're going to do is grab our school bunny and just place this towards the bottom of the uh, back of the school bunny and I'm just going to whip stitch all the way around to sew that down. So I'm just going to do that now and then we're going to finally move on to making the legs and then we'll be almost complete. There we go, the tail is now sewn down, so we're going to move on to making the feet. Um, so these are made in kind of three parts, so we're going to do, as I'll show you quickly, um, this is going to be the actual foot itself, this is kind of the leg that we're going to attach onto the foot, and then also there's going to be a, a yellow bandage that we put on the bottom of the foot, um, because that's what school bunny has on his foot but i haven't actually crocheted that piece yet but that's something else that we're going to have to make so we're going to start off by making this uh, main foot piece here so to start off with you're going to grab your true orange color and you're going to do six single crochets in a magic circle so one two three four five and six and then for round two you're going to increase all the way around so that'll get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round round three single crochet increase and repeat that five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round and then rounds four to six just single crochet all the way around in this true orange color um, and then at the end of round six we need to change to white so i'll meet you at that point so I got to the end of round six and now we're going to change to white. So I'm just on the final single crochet here of round six and I'm doing my colour change. Okay, so now we've got our white colour attached. So for round seven, you're going to do single crochet decrease and repeat that five times to get you down to 12 single crochets at the end of round seven. And then for rounds eight to 17, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. Um, and I will meet you at the end of round 17 as we're then going to add a little bit of stuffing and then we're going to uh, finish off the feet. Okay, so I got to the end of round 17, now I'm going to add a small amount of stuffing just to the uh, orange end part of the foot. Just like that, push it all the way down. And there we have it. So now all we need to do is the final round, which is round 18, where we're just going to decrease all the way around. So. That'll be six decreases, so one, two, three, four. So now I'm just going to cut my yarn, I'm not going to bother leaving a long tail because we're not going to use this for sewing at all, um, and then I'm just going to close up this hole here in the normal way. So just keep going round like this and then just weave that tail through to the bottom of the foot like this and then you can just cut that because you're not going to be needing this anymore. So that is this foot complete and I've got my other foot um, as well which I'll just show you. 
So these are the two feet done. Um, so now we're going to move on to making the little bandages to go at the bottom of the feet. So grab your yellow yarn and I'll show you how to do that. So this is what the uh, foot bandage piece is going to look like when it's done. So it's really straightforward. So we're just going to start off by chaining five. And then we're going to just single crochet across. So that'll be four single crochets. And I'm just going to hide this tail in the first row. Okay, so that's row one. And then for rows uh, two to six you're just gonna make sure at the at the start of each run uh, at the start of each row sorry to chain one turn and then single crochet across so yeah you're just gonna do that for rows two to six um and then i will meet you at the end of row six okay so i've reached the end of the sixth row and then we're just gonna cut our yarn leaving enough of a tail for sewing So that's it so now we've got our two uh foot bandage pieces so now you're just going to want to take your feet and you're going to want to um decide which side is going to be the front side and which side is going to be the back uh, and you're going to want to turn it around so that you are uh, looking at the back so these are going to be the backs for me and then you're just going to want to sew those bandages down roughly uh at the midway point in the white part so about here so I'm just going to sew those down now, I'm probably just going to use a whip stitch as usual. Um, then I'll show you when I finish that and then we're just going to make these, uh, I guess, leg pieces um, that we're going to attach to the feet and then we're finally going to attach that to the body and then uh, that's going to be all of the crocheted pieces done. So the bandages are now sewn down to the bottom of the feet, so we're going to start making uh, the leg that we need to attach to the feet and the body. So to start off with, we're gonna chain six. Oh, and sorry, one thing that I should mention actually, at the beginning, you should leave a long tail um, because you're gonna be needing this part for sewing. Because as you can see here, we've got a tail here and a tail here because we're gonna be sewing both of these parts, one to the feet and one to the, um, the body so yeah just make sure that you actually leave a long tail at the start here for sewing right so let's chain six one two three four five six and then we're just gonna slip stitch to our first chain chain one and that is going to be round one so for rounds two to eight you're just going to single crochet in each of the uh well for round two you're going to single crochet in each of the chains all the way around and then for rounds uh three to eight you're going to single crochet in each of the single crochets all the way around so it should be six single crochets per round um and then for round nine you're going to do single crochet increase and repeat that twice more to get you up to nine single crochets at the end of round nine so i'll meet you at that point and then we will uh do the sewing part so I've got to the end of round nine and now I'm just going to cut the yarn leaving a long enough tail for sewing. So now we've got, as I mentioned before, the two tails, one at the bottom and one at the top. So now we're going to sew firstly the wider part, so round nine to the feet. So you want to take your feet and you want to flip them back over because the bandage should be on the bottom of the feet. And then you're just going to want to sew that here so kind of lining up those back stitches with the back of the foot and then the rest of them can just be sewn round sort of as they fall um so we're just going to do that for both of the feet and then i'll meet you when you finish that and then we're just going to sew the narrower part to the body 
I've sewn the legs down to the feet now so the final thing we need to do is sew these to the body so you're basically going to want to place these at a round let me try and get a better angle for this round two so you're going to make the uh, inner part of the leg um, be attached to round two and then you're just going to sew the rest of it down so it should be kind of placed like this so I'll just show you once I've sewn that again I'm just going to use a whip stitch for that and then the final uh, thing that you can do at the end is to add some details to the hands and the feet using some scrap black yarn so I'll show you that in a minute I sewed down the legs and as you can see my school bunny is now complete so the final step that I did was just to add a couple of black lines with the uh, scrap black yarn that's optional but it just adds a bit of extra detail to the feet and the arms so yes yeah, so this is my school bunny so I'll just do a better view of that and from the back you can just see the tail there and yeah, this is obviously quite a big um, item, so you can see in comparison to my hand, this is quite big and quite heavy actually. But um, yeah, that is the school bunny. So I hope you found this video useful um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.